This coverage of CES is brought to you by Toyota. And now we have the mini version of a concept that I have always, always been a fan of. Hey, it's Joshua Gard from Android Authority. What is going on, everybody? And now we have the Asus Pad Phone Mini. All right, and like you saw in the intro, yes, this is a four inch phone right here that powers an entire tablet when you need a much larger screen to work with. It slides in beautifully onto the back right here. This is always really fun to do. So as you can see here, there is the base and we have the slot right here. And right into the seven inch tablet goes the phone. And there you go, you have a full seven inch tablet at your fingertips. This is a really, really great concept. I remember seeing this at MWC much earlier in 2013 and I thought it was such a great, great, great idea that actually is implemented so well given the great guys over at ASUS. Now, of course, the entire tablet is powered by the little guy right over here and we'll go ahead and talk about what that is like. So as you can see, the phone is out right there and it is powered by a Intel Atom processor that clocks in at 1.6 gigahertz and that four inch screen has a resolution of 800 by 480. But now let's take a look at the tablet itself. I'm gonna go ahead and reinsert the phone here. Again, I'm telling you, that's such a great feeling to be able to do that and all of a sudden you have a great tablet in your hands. The seven inch screen comes in at a resolution of 1280 by 800, which provides a very nice experience for general media consumption and also even games. And as you can see here, we do have the Zen UI, which is what we have been seeing from the Zen phones. Um, it's not, it's an early build still, so there's still some features that have to come through. But as you can see, there's a notification drop down. I'll go ahead and just adjust the brightness a little bit so you can see it a little bit better and there is you know all of the circle centric or the concentric circles whatever term you want to use but a lot of the elements are made up of circles and it makes for a very clean look that allows it to be very functional at the same time now when it comes to battery life the little phone itself comes with a 1000 170 milliamp hour units that will provide it some good longevity, especially since it's a small phone, it will probably go for quite a while because that battery is big for such a small four inch phone. However, the station itself actually comes with a 2100 milliamp hour unit. So don't worry about losing battery life quickly just because you're using one unit to power essentially two. The station comes with its own battery, which is a great feature uh, that allows it to, you know, have a little bit more longevity. So if you really need to use uh, the tablet more than the phone, then you have power for that. When combined, this this whole unit comes in at 376 grams, which is a very, very nice weight for this. It is not too heavy, but also not too light to make you question its build quality. And as far as build quality goes, we do have a nice luster back here that makes it look, feel really, really nice. Uh, it's not, it is, it is still plastic, it is not metal, but it definitely has a much better um, sort of countenance to it. So it's not gonna get a lot of fingerprints on the back or smudges actually for that matter. And finally, we do have an eight megapixel camera on the four inch uh, phone here that does come with the Pixel Master software that ASUS has put into their cameras that allows for 400% brighter photos in low light. Great low light performance in that camera right there. So that is the Padphone Mini. This is another one of the innovations that comes from ASUS that was announced yesterday. This is another iteration of the uh, Padphone here that is a concept I have always been a fan of. So that is us from ASUS here at the Trump Towers. This is Joshua Gar from Android Authority coming to you live from CES 2014. And once again, thank you to Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage.